Because, yeah, the, the main difference between the boiler 1s and the boiler 2s is just heat. Uh, they output hotter steam. Oh, okay. And and so I believe the boiler 2s require more. Uh, but the boiler 2s put out twice as much power. So Or the steam engine 2s put out twice as much power. Yeah. Yeah, it's like double the temperature. But double the power. Double the power. Twice the power. Actually, no. It's a max consumption. I think they do require more coal. Yeah, they consume twice as much. So it's it's just a linear scaling to save on space. Okay, we're halfway to the electric lab, which is real nice. That's going to make things a lot easier. Okay, cool. Oh, good. We're already on electric furnaces. That's a good feeling. Yep. We've got all of the iron on electric furnaces, on the steel on electric furnaces. I should probably upgrade other stuff, actually, but none of it's really that important at this moment in time. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I think... Yeah, I think... To be honest, I think we're in a good place. I, uh, I certainly yeah. feel comfortable. Uh, especially now that we've got that defensive moat <laughs> around. Go. I'm going to just set up real quick. I'm going to set up a couple of assembly machines to make, like, motors and belts and stuff. Just, you know, random yep. assorted junk that we're going to need. Let's see. By the way, I've got a recycling machine. Yeah, I saw that. What's all that about? Uh, so you can throw in something you don't want and get the base components out. Uh, really? Yeah, so say burner inserter arms that you don't want anymore. Chuck them in, uh -huh. get whatever the resources back out. That makes me very happy. Yeah. But it's also That's... one of the core components of alchemy. Okay, you keep saying alchemy, like, uh... Yep. And it, and it never I'm gonna makes keep me saying feel... it until we get there. And then you'll, un <laughs> you'll truly understand. It never makes me feel particularly good. There's just something about the way that you say it. It's like you're smiling when you say it. I am it smiling me. when I say it. It just, it just scares me. You it can, just scares me. I, I have mastered the art of being, uh, of my smiles being audible. That's... It's quite a skill. Uh, just do this long enough and it just you get there. So how long have you been doing this? Seven years as of a week from now. Jeez, Louise. Yeah. What's changed? What's the uh, what are the big changes? The early access and the indie apocalypse to some degree. Uh, okay. So. Early access has just kind of expanded rapidly. Like, I, re I remember a couple of years ago, early access was just, you know, you get you do, you get early access games kind of here and there, and they're all kind of new and noteworthy and interesting, and people would dive on them, and they'd be like, yeah. And now, like, everything is early access, and so that's that's been an almost unwelcome change. Uh, let's see what, and apart from that, just the indie gaming industry has massively exploded like the sheer number of new indie games that come out year after year has increased far more than i had expected i that you know i, I look i i like the i like indie games i play them a lot like they're the staple of my channel however i feel like i feel like every game unless it's released by like rockstar is is an indie game like the the, the definition has has really expanded too. You know you know what I mean? Sort of. I, I think it's just because indie games have started taking over a significant chunk of the market where previously they were much more limited in scale to just like the guys that made Aquaria. I you know shoot. Team Meets and so on and so forth. And now it's just like Stardew Valley, one of the most successful games of all time, made by one dude. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's... Here's the problem with our science. 
we don't have enough of it. Oh, did my manual inputs run out? <laughs> yeah, copper's out. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's... we should probably replace these with steam assembly machines. Here, I'm actually going to do that real quick. I mean, go, go for it. Steam can be a bit of a pain to move, though, so that's why I guess I have Yeah, haven't. but it's faster than any of the assembly machines we have. It is lightning. the regular ones are half, of. where steam is double. Yeah. Okay. I also... I, I worry that maybe... Maybe I just... Uh, okay. Okay. You've deposited a whole bunch of junk into my inventory again, and I don't appreciate I apologize. it. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't even feel guilty about it. I don't believe it. Okay. This is true. Uh, I, uh... Okay. Cool. Alright, I've got some belt production up and running. It's nothing special. But it's here. We got some bell production. Right. What else? Got motor production two. And six. One. All right. Yeah, okay. So we should never need to craft basic horrible transport belts again. Hurrah. Are you redoing science? Since we've got electric labs, or we will have in yeah very very short time. Good shout. Good shout. Do we have landfills yet? No. Question. Build over this water? Nope. I mean, what you want to you want to just completely pave over the uh, this pond right here? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's no it's no immediate rush, but I, I would very much like to get rid of that pond. Uh, you hate ponds. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, I hate ponds when I'm building a giant mega factory. That's... Okay. Ooh. I didn't realize. We've got a to-do list up in the top left-hand corner. Yep. Yeah, so we can actually share stuff. I don't know how to do it. Add, add new. Huh. Yeah. I'm probably going to just ignore that. Oh, well, of course. Not not because I'm necessarily disinterested, but just because I... I don't know about you. To-do lists are always difficult for me because I feel like by the time I get organized with the whole to-do list, uh, I could have just completed one or two things on the task, so I usually just have, like, real crappy notes that I'm just like uh, game date done yeah sometimes I, it screws me over yeah. though yeah I, uh, I I try to I try to do to-do lists but I only really use them when there's like a lot of stuff on like a lot of stuff happening the rest of the time I feel like it's a little bit of a distraction from actually just doing the stuff that you need to do yep so, sometimes it's necessary though I was uh, I was in bed yesterday, just ready to go to sleep. You know, wake up on time, no big deal. Check my phone right, right before I went to sleep. It'll, it'll be okay. Uh, there's nothing major. And then I get an email from uh, uh, one of my PR companies that wanted to sponsor a video being like, hey, where, where's the video for a review? And I'm like, oh, right. Oh. That game. So I, like, popped out of bed and recorded. I... And then you replied, I, oh, it did, must not have gone live. Oh, silly YouTube I, for not I scheduling just, the video properly. I just properly. sent it off. I don't even give those excuses anymore. Those worked in Those worked in school. They didn't even work in school. And I knew it, but it was just kind of obligatory. But... Yeah, now I'm just like, whatever. <laughs> I was actually super tempted to just say, like, eh. Maybe never mind. This doesn't actually seem like the kind of game for me. And then I played it, and I'm like, I should never have agreed to this. Oof. Okay, we need glass. Glass requires sand. Sand requires stone. Oh, well, it's, that's easy. It's, re it's real easy, yeah. I, I made it for the last, uh, the last playthrough. I mean, I made it in another world, another time. Okay. 
what am I doing? Yeah, so feel free to just dip in and take some belts here. This is a belt production area, apparently. Okay. So much junk in my inventory since you filled me right up. It's it's actually a real impediment to getting stuff done. <laughs> Just uh oh, do we have warehouses yet? Uh, I, no. Another world, I think. Yeah, another world, another t another time. Our current research is more important though than getting a warehouse. I agree. I agree. I'm so yeah. I'm doing yokai components now, and so that's gonna hopefully unlock a whole bunch of stuff which I have literally no idea what they do. But then the one after that, or the one after that, is going to give us walls, I think. Alright. I mean, what are the biter? The biter evolution is at 15%. Yeah. So things started getting hairy at 20% last time. Now... Yeah. Part of it is, it was especially hairy because they were very close. To us. Yeah. But this time around, I gave us considerably more of a, a of a buffer, mm -hmm. so they might not actually just start biting at our knees. Did you redo science by any chance? Uh, got mildly distracted. No worries. No worries. Let's I was just see. curious. So get up. Yeah, I should probably have prioritized that over glass. Oh, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry. About actually, it. no, but we it. need we need glass if I want to redo science. So, ah, I guess there's yes. there's a reason. There's a process here. There is a process here. Okay, let's do. Okay, so. Science packs, it's literally just copper and copper and gears, isn't it? Okay. That's nice and easy. Where do you think we want to assemble blue science, uh, red science packs? Uh, ideally, what we should do is probably find a, a bus location. I know, I know. And actually start created, working towards that. Um, I've created like a mini bus here, but it's not sustainable. Or we probably want to go up. Like, loop the up. resources around and then kind of head... Uh, where that N4 material chunk Duratol is. The problem is we have so much water on this map that's actually kind of in the way. Yeah? Ooh. Yeah, radar. Radar is being researched right now, isn't it? Cool. Yep. Okay, there we go. Let me do... Okay, so now I got some electric labs. Wonderful. I'm gonna just slap them down on the ground and... I don't know. Okay. Should I... Well, you have belt production, yeah? I know I haven't built I haven't built production. I was just sort of thinking about how I wanted to do it out here. This is just this is just belts. This is just temporary yeah. belts. Well, to that, get us, that's uh, what I was asking. Um, yeah. I mean, I guess we could do some horrible thing where yeah, I guess actually, screw it. Let's just extend the the bus down because we've got a big water area that we can just fill in. Yeah. By the time that we get down here and we actually need to use it, we'll have landfill, I guess. Yeah. Let me just. You're welcome. Thank you. It's all right. I'm doing it too. So if, I hope if I do it, then it's going to fill up your inventory with junk. Maybe I can get my my own back. I'll increase my robot army so this goes faster. <laughs> yeah, clear this out. Take this area. And worst comes to worst, if we absolutely have to, we can just take a hard left and make a main U. Oh, my goodness. Look at the size of this water. This is a, a huge pond. This is... Yeah. Oh I figured it'd be nice and defensible, but yeah, I'll I'll just uh, have some of our stone working on landfills at some point. I, I, look, I mean, we're defended now, so we'll we'll be fine. Yeah, I guess 
Yeah, I guess is, bring East is not properly covered. Something can still come nibble at our toes there. Oh, well, you know who doesn't like a toe nibble once in a while? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you said it. <laughs> I did. That's. The... I just didn't say I liked it. <laughs> I didn't say I liked it. I just said who doesn't like. The implications of that statement are a little bit more salacious than my own. <laughs> it's very true. It's very true. Quite correct. Oh, man. Oh, goodness. So yes, okay. What have been we... doing YouTube for? Or, and uh, Twitch, I guess? Five? Almost six years. Almost okay. six years. On and off. Well, most, mostly on. But yeah. for, like, work reasons, I basically took a year off like a year and a half ago yeah so i've been doing it for six years but one of those years was not doing it yeah so to speak i got i'm not gonna say i got lucky but uh as soon as my channel was like starting to kind of take off i got laid off so it's just like well i guess i know what i'm doing that's well i mean look <sighs> Luck is luck is one of these things, right? It's a bit of a it's a bit of a misnomer. I don't think there is really such a thing as luck. There is to I, a degree, but not I, as much. I as believe people. in luck, but I don't feel like my YouTube success is luck. Yeah, a lot of it was just really, really good timing and targeted uh, efforts. Yeah, but I'm definitely like lucky. I uh, I've been playing Risk of Rain with the rest of the group. Uh, or not the rest of the group, but like Madi, Penta, and Rito. And yeah. it is super obvious the drop rates favor me. And maybe I'm also just a greedy pig, but still. <laughs> <laughs> you make your own luck. Bit, yeah. By stealing by stealing everyone else's luck. I don't I steal it, it's just item drops in front of me, and I'm like, hey, cool item. And then like the level ends and I look at like how much how many items does Rito have? None. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and then he dies, and I'm like, this is my fault. <laughs> I did this. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Just uh, turning off the power temporarily. Okay. I am currently consuming all trees from our... Not really a peninsula. Speaking of consume all trees. Did you play Destroy All Humans? I'm yes, sure you I did, played, didn't you? I, I played a fair bit of it. I think I'm at like the three-quarter halfway point. I didn't do any of the open world stuff because that bores me. Mm. But the actual campaign missions I was doing rather enjoying. Yeah, what did, what did you think of it? It was... For a game that came out when I was a kid, it still holds up shockingly well. Really? Yeah. Like, the gameplay was solid, the the humor was decent. They had, like, a disclaimer being like, some of this might be kind of offensive, and, like, not really. Not overwhelmingly, okay. at least. Some, some of it was, but it's like, maybe I'm just desensitized to some of this stuff. Uh, but as, as far as, like, uh, objective-based third-person shooter with, like, a, a heavy, like, focus on just dumb humor... It was pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah. I, I, cause it looked, it looked all right, but like, I was, I was a bit wary. It's like, is this just, is this just all flash and no substance? But I, I'm glad that you, it's definitely, you it definitely that. doesn't have the substance that like a lot of modern games have, but like, mm. have you played Hat in Time? No, I haven't, but I watched Alexa play it. Alexa played okay. like a, year and a half ago or something so it it kind of feels like hat and time on some of the less interesting levels where there's not much to do you just kind of have your objective you do it and funny things happen in the background yeah and it doesn't need more complexity than that it'd be nice to have more complexity but a lot of like third person shooter third person platformer collectathon kind of games they just don't offer that and that's kind of okay yeah That's interesting. That's interesting, actually. I don't know. I, I have so little experience with those types of games anyway that it... I, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't even yeah. know what I'm talking about now. Okay. 
I was watching some games that don't hold up so well. Uh, went back to play uh, Bioshock, actually. Really? The original okay. one. And it held uh -huh. up okay, but I remember Bioshock being, like, difficult or, like, challenging and spooky. And having played so many other games in the meantime, going back to Bioshock was just almost... It wasn't laughably easy, but it, it felt very simple. I know. I, I yeah. So the, the writing, the ambiance, and, like, a lot of the art direction still kind of holds up. But the core gameplay was like, yeah, this is... It's actually it's just kind of... Kind of basic. Bang, 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 dead sort of yep. thing, yeah. Well, zap and then hit him with the pipe, or zap and then... Of course. Then shoot him. Oh. Yeah. No, uh, that's... That's fair. Have you actually played a whole lot of the remasters lately? That have been coming out, or no, not, not really? <sighs> not really? I... See, I'm, um... I'm trying to, in my spare time, I'm trying to work through... Metal Gear Solid. Ah. Uh, and uh, which one? Uh, like so I played the I oh, I must I, I say recently. I I played through the original PS PS1 game and honestly it was truly phenomenal. Like honestly one of the most fantastic experiences I've ever had with a video game ever. Like genuinely incredible. Um and I, I don't I don't say that lightly because I, I don't really do older games I, I never do retro games but that game was great um, and then the second one I sort of got a little bit through and then kind of stalled out because it's a bit it weird. weird yeah you, have you played them uh so that's uh I've never played them but Metal Gear Solid was what got me into uh doing this in the first place uh, really yeah it was the first week of college, my uh, dorm neighbors, I guess, uh, one of them was watching a Metal Gear Solid LP, and I was like, what is this? Like, this is kind of cool. And it was really funny, and the, the guys were, you know, they were very good at the game, and they knew a lot about it, so it was kind of just, uh, it, was, it was just super easy to get into, and... Uh, mm -hmm. They're still doing it uh, here and there, but that was the first time I ever watched an LP even knew what they were. Unfortunately, I didn't really, like, think of, like, hey, this is something I could actually do myself. Yeah. Uh, until a couple years later, uh, when I, you know, heard about other people doing it professionally. I was like, wait a second, people do this as a job? Um. Oh, wow. That is... Thing. Do we not have a? Oh, we do have a chest for iron. Yeah, I'm bringing I'm bringing copper down to the bus over here. I should point yeah. that. I probably gonna want to tear an amount of this stuff up so we can have some more space uh, to process the, iron. The the um yeah I I actually 100% agree. This this area over here where I am is entirely temporary and just giving us belts. So like this entire area here, I'm not gonna touch at all. Okay. Because yeah, each one of these individual lines going into the uh, furnaces is not the most efficient. None of them. I, I mean, the whole... The furnaces are just garbage. They're just... You know, compared to what we get later. And then the steel area is super temporary. Yeah. So yeah, look, this this area entirely down here, I would say, is like Ironville. Right. I'm going to do the lazy thing and just handcraft a bunch of automation science packs. Go for it. Is that the green ones? Yeah. Nice. Oh. This is the... Oh, this just needs copper? Wait. Yeah, I'm bringing... Copper. That's why I'm bringing the copper down. This is not a good idea, actually. Oh. Just... Huh. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that's, that's Bioshock. I, Bioshock is a fantastic... Fantastic game. I they're great games. I, really like it. I I would love to see them actually return to the formula and try and make some more. It's, the thing is, though, how do you follow? How do you follow the original Bioshock? And I know people like Bioshock too. I think the point I know, is less you know, of following Bioshock and more um, 
the formula of it, you know, dark, cla claustrophobic, somewhat heavy focus on story. Because mm. uh, Bioshock Infinite was a weird game, and it was bright. You know, it lost it lost a lot of the the kind of dark charm that the the first Bioshock had, and maybe the second. I've never actually played Bioshock too. It's. I mean, I see the thing is, I think Bioshock Infinite was a fine game. It was it was all right. It's just Bioshock One was so profound. How do you how do you find that profoundness again? You know. Yeah. I, you know, that is, I don't know. I mean, I guess from my perspective, you don't always have to have like a perfect sequel or like a proper, you don't have to do better than the first. It just has to be yeah. fun or interesting in its own way. I, yeah. I see a lot of games specifically trying to top the previous one and sometimes it works. Uh, you know, recently, there have been a whole spat of sequels. Uh, Risk of Rain 2, Rogue Legacy 2, uh, what else am I playing? There's Binding more sequels Isaac than Rebirth. That. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. And so, a number of those, I mean, admittedly, Isaac Rebirth was absolutely just topping the previous one. And same thing with, uh, with Rogue Legacy 2, but... I liked how Risk of Rain did it, where they're just like, yeah, we're just going to do something completely different. And it actually worked out really well for them. Yeah. I've watched I've watched you play it. I've watched you play it. I've watched... Uh, I've watched a bunch of people play it. And to be honest, it just looks... It's not my it's not my type of game. It is a... You're not much of a roguelike guy, though, so that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. N no, I, I very, very much not a roguelike. I like... It was it was interesting. I was watching I was watching your um, your series with Rito and, and Alexa, the Gunfire Reborn one, and yeah. uh, and and Rito I think was ta talking about how much he didn't like meta progression, and I think yeah. you chimed in that you also didn't like meta progression or something in Rogue Legacy. I can't I can't, re I can't recall. It depends. But but I, like I I couldn't disagree more. Like I I feel like the meta progression is is what interests me the most. You know. I, I, think I think the biggest issue in a lot of cases is that, is that meta progression becomes a replacement for complexity in a game. That okay. it is there to give you something to do and nothing more. Uh, and so that works for a game like Rogue Legacy where you are grinding to increase your stats. But the whole game is about the grind. Um, but there's enough interesting variety, things to explore, little tricks. And it's hard enough that you know you don't really feel like you're just grinding the whole time and it's not very long either like my rogue legacy one playthroughs are 10 hours long tops uh, yeah. whereas the issue i was running into with gunfire reborn was the only thing to do was to grind yeah. and there was only one boss there were only there was only one region and like one of my moderators is actually also a moderator for the gunfire reborn people and to unlock everything in that game was easily 100 hours. And I don't want to be playing a game for 100 hours fighting the same first boss, second boss, third boss, going through the same first zone, second zone, third zone uh, with minimal variation. Like, you have to have a game with factorial levels of complexity and, and interest to get me to come back for that repeatedly. Yeah. And so I think that's I think it's fair. Yeah, totally. I I guess it's the meta progression is the it's the carrot on the stick, but it has to be a good carrot and you have to eat the carrot occasionally. Yeah. That's that's some analogy. That's <laughs> has to I be don't a know. good carrot. <laughs> has to be a good carrot. I I yeah. You're you're a you're a connoisseur of uh, of roguelikes much more than I am, so I uh, yeah, <laughs> I have played. I mean, I think every single major 
roguelike in the past decade to absurd levels. Not to the level that, like, I think a lot of the rest of the wholesome verse have. Because, you know, Alexa has Binding of Isaac. Rito has Neon Abyss and Gungeon. Um, the Rhapsody has Slay the Spire and Monster Train now. I think I always yeah. get a little bit bored before I, I get to that level. I just can't do it as much. Yeah. Uh, but I played all of them. Yeah. I don't know. There's just... I just don't like... I just don't like playing the same thing over and over again in very, very similar similar yeah. fashion. I, I, I like an ever-evolving game, it, like Factorio. It, it has to... Yeah. The interesting thing is, like, I'd rather play a roguelike than a, uh, for, like, a, three months than Factorio for a while. Or when I'm done with Factorio, I put it on the back burner for, like, a year. The, yeah. You know, yeah. then I am I am done, and I don't want to think about it again for a while. It's a saga, right? It is a, it is a, it is a chapter of your life. Yeah. When you play it. I, this is very true, actually. I... I have uh, I have a number of fans who only watch me for Factorio, and they only come back once a year for my inevitable yearly playthrough of Factorio. And I didn't know they existed until they were talking about it this year because I was late. Oh, really? You got a yeah. you got a schedule to keep? I Not see. really, but I I just I didn't realize I was that consistent. Is the real answer. I don't know. Factorio is is weird in how it it just draws you back, even though it's like you're basically playing the same thing over, and, every over and over. Every time your process changes, and the mods have changed, so it's you know it's different than it was. Yeah. Again, it's like you know, you know, good games. Good in good games, I think you're competing against yourself because then there's always something to improve. Yeah. You know. Let's see, is this your rudimentary? This is my Yeah, I'm just I'm sort of zoning something out here just to I'd probably do do away with the boxes. Um and just I, have you, these ready to like be built out. Yeah. I I like I like buffering. I like buffering, but uh it's gonna be a lot of space. I would buffer afterwards, like at the end. So I would put the buffer here instead. But are we not losing a whole bunch of production coming out of these? Uh... You don't need that big of a buffer, is the answer, especially if this scales up. Because the buffer is just like a small a small amount that you can come and grab some iron. Uh, you don't really want to be stowing I thousands. I, get, I yeah, guess but, you're right. No, but as a, the, the point that I'm making is that I'm not sure that you're gonna like get the maximum amount of efficiency out of these stone furnaces because there will always be iron like waiting over here if that makes sense i'm just not sure if we need that level of efficiency if we're not pulling it after a little bit hold up let me let me test it we can test it we can test it okay let me bring it in oh man every time every time i level up i i have a little mini heart attack I'm like, what yeah, is that it's noise? An absolute it's, surprise. Yep. It's an absolute surprise, and it's such an unnatural factorial noise. Yeah. I I hope they come up with a new sound. But oh, these <laughs> yeah. are my burner labs. Get out of here. All right. Let's give this a test. Let's go. Right. Okay. Yeah, because iron, I mean, iron production is slow. Yeah, uh, we can speed it up. I'm waiting until we get advanced material processing. Uh, that's yeah. that's the main bottleneck for me. Because that gets us the electric steel furnace, which has double the crafting speed. I figured I'd go all in on updating our, our setup once we had that. 